Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 2nd of 2020, well it is titled The Galaxy, The Planet, and The Apple Tree. So what do we see here? Well, the foreground tree is an apple tree here on planet Earth and up above in the sky and in fact nestled within some of the branches of the apple tree, a very bright object, and that is actually the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is one of the brighter planets in the sky and one of the easier ones to be able to see, uh, not because it is close to us, it is it, but because it is so large, being the largest planet in the solar system, it therefore reflects more light and will look brighter. And in fact, right now in the morning sky, if you look off uh, to the west, you can see the planet Jupiter. And Jupiter and uh, Saturn are very close together. And you can see a distinct difference in the brightness. Jupiter being twice as close will look uh, much brighter than uh, Saturn, which is twice as far away. Now, so we see a planet here. We also see a number of stars. The stars are all a part of our own Milky Way galaxy, and we see the plane of the galaxy itself stretching uh, from the lower right up towards the upper left. And within that, we can see the bright star clouds that are associated with the Milky Way and the dark dust clouds. Now, the dust is a bigger particles of material and actually blocks out the light from behind it. So our Milky Way would be much, much brighter were it not for the presence of all of that dust. And in fact, the dust blocks out much of the light, making many of the brightest parts of our galaxy, like the galactic center, completely invisible in ordinary light. We can see them and study them in things like radio waves that will penetrate the dust, but what we cannot see is invisible light. They're just completely blocked out. So we'd be looking towards the area around the center of our galaxy here, towards the lower right side of the Milky Way, and yet it does not look unusually bright. However, it is the brightest radio source in the sky. So if we were looking at this in radio waves, we would see the center of the Milky Way galaxy being the brightest object in the sky. Now off to the far right, we also see a bright star that is the bright star Antares, a large supergiant star, a large red star, and we can see the reddish tinge to it over there off to the right. Now, this is a star that is so large that if you put it in our solar system, it would engulf the entire inner solar system, including the Earth. So it is that many times larger than our sun that it would completely fill not only the sun's space, but the entire inner solar system. So it gives you a perspective as to how small our sun actually is compared to some of those extremely large stars that exist out in space. So here we get to see uh, the planet Jupiter, we get to see the bright red star Antares, and we get to see the Milky Way galaxy stretching between the two. So that was our picture of the day for July the 2nd of 2020. It was titled The Galaxy, The Planet, and The Apple Tree. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.